So I thought I'd do a quick video, a 3D printed case that I've been building up for the uh, QCX. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of the QCX, um, but the layout of the board is a little tough to fit into a traditional enclosure. Uh, the, the volume and um, uh, the volume pot and the encoder are at different heights. Uh, the buttons are right close to the board and um, the LCD kind of sits back. And you, you want to try and avoid with the, with the QCX running wires of any length to the LCD as it, uh, it actually creates noise. I've, I've actually tried that myself. Um, so QR, QRP Labs does sell a really nice enclosure kit. So let me just bring that into the, into the, uh, the screen here. So this is the kit. Um, it uh, has some, uh, some special standoffs for the pots. Uh, it's a kind of fully metal, uh, uh, metal enclosure. Uh, and I've, I've got one of those. Um, but what I thought I'd do is I haven't used my uh, 3D printer very much, and so what I'll what I thought I'd do is just create a um, uh, a 3D printed version of it. Um, and uh, the printer I use is a Prusa MKS3 uh, that I built up from a kit. Um, it's uh, you know it's a pretty uh, a pretty decent uh, 3D printer uh, with all 3D printing. Uh, it does take quite a quite a while, and you kind of have to be mindful of the limitations of the printer itself. So. What I'll do is I'll uh, break this apart and I'll show you the, the various components. So here's the uh, enclosure uh, and, and there are three major components. So uh, kind of in order, uh, this is the, the bottom half of the shell. And as you can see, there's a couple of holes on this side for the power. And this is where, this is the amplifier connection. Uh, and then there are two holes, uh, one on each side for the, the, the key jack and the, and the earphone jack. And the board itself is just, is just basically held onto uh, the, the bottom of the, uh, of the enclosure just with these simple standoffs. And then this is a PLA material and, and it's robust enough uh, to, to actually screw in a couple of M3 screws into, into the standoffs here. Uh, as long as you don't tighten it down too much and you don't uh, screw it in and out too often. So basically the, the board goes in, let me see if I can do this uh, kind of off camera here, bear with. So it just slots into the board like that. Then you can screw this back in uh, and it holds it quite securely. Uh, just continuing, so this is the top of the board. Um, again, simple, uh, you know, simple uh, box construction. There's some holes here for the encoders. The encoder goes here, the uh, volume pot goes here, and then there's two cutouts for the uh, for the buttons themselves. So uh, also part of the uh, um, you know part of the models are uh, these two pieces here that uh, basically go between the, the top of the case and the and the button here. Um, and then finally, we have these shaft extensions here, which go on top of the, the encoder and, the, uh, and the, the volume pot. So this one's just a press fit. Uh, I tried to do a press fit with this one, but it, it just wouldn't work. It would kind of move around all the time. So I drilled a little hole here and put a uh, two and a half M2 2.5 uh, set screw in there. It holds it pretty securely. I mean, it's, it, I mean, it's when you rotate it, it does, yeah, it's got a bit of uh, it's got a bit of wobble in the uh, in in the um, the shaft itself. So uh, it is a bit rough and ready the the whole kit. So uh, what else have I got there? Um, uh, so I do have the uh, STL files out on Tinkercad, and I'll provide links to them below. Um, just some details on the on the print again. I, I did mention that I printed this with PLA. Um, it's uh, it's it's more than robust enough for this for this case. Uh, I did 0.3 millimeter layers and 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 that's kind of a draft mode. Um, I found that when I was doing uh, 0.2 millimeter layers and, and and less than that, it just took longer. I didn't really get a, a better output. Uh, and then the final thing that I that I'll cover is uh, the the top and the bottom halves of the shell uh, connect to each other with these little clips. So there's a little. Uh, uh, a protrusion here and then that clips in here so there's no screws needed in the uh, uh, in in pushing the enclosures together but anyway uh, I thought you might enjoy this and uh, you know um, uh, have fun with the designs you can uh, take them and uh, do whatever you like with them